The, uh, my first guest tonight is guest starring on the Hot in Cleveland show, which airs Wednesdays uh, on TV Land. Take a look at this. <laughs> Please welcome Sean Hayes, everybody. Sean Hayes. Oh, Sean, what, what's that? What are you doing? Do everything. Oh, here. man. <laughs> Don't tidy up. It's such a stereotype. <laughs> It from you. No, well, I no, I don't tidy up on purpose. I, I leave it messy yeah. so that it looks like I come back later and tidy. So the song that you keep referencing, what is it? It sounds like a sporting event. It does. It sounds like the bit where they where the you know you want the uh, the the basketball when they file the t-shirts out. Yes. Yeah. Do you go and see a lot of sporting events? If they're given to me, free free tickets are given to me. Yeah. <laughs> what do you like? No. You like the basketball? You know the like, the Lakers was awesome. Like like seeing the Lakers. Uh, like it just reminds me of being in school. Like being that close. Like courtside seats. But I'm not like you know a crazy sports fan. But interesting story. Do we have time? Oh yes, we okay. do. So. Uh, <laughs> So, you may, have you ever been to a Lakers game? Have you been to a Lakers game? Okay, so at halftime, they still play that song, um, so kiss me, don't. Yeah, don't, yeah, 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 yeah. Right? And then they show, show on the Jumbo and, and they kiss. get like, yeah. really? Well, they do that at every sporting event. Yeah. That's everywhere, right. all across America, they play kiss me, or it's kissing time, or something. Right, and right. The, and, and the Jumbotron, and they show it. Right. And, then, yeah. and then they have like celebrities, right? Like, right. Or whatever. So they had like Denzel Washington was there when they were never skiing, and his wife, and they look, and then you see, oh, I'm supposed to kiss. So they kiss their wife, or whatever. And I'm sitting there with my very straight friend, Steve Shenbaum, <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I got my popcorn. I'm like, Ay, caramba. That's me on the Jumbotron. <laughs> and, you know, there's a million people watching. I'm like, Oh, do I do a joke? Like, what? The pressure was so huge. Like, what do I do? I'm not going to, you know. And so I just made out with my hand. <laughs> is that going to get cut out? No, I, I'm, I'm just kind of letting it absorb. <laughs> I'm, uh, you do have very nice hands. Do you play a hand model in the show? Is that I the do, thing? Yeah. I do, yeah. Um, thanks for showing they that. Are, they are remarkable hands. Well, I mean, thank you. I mean, you're, you're Keep... right. You must, you must have got a lot of hand jobs in your time with... Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's probably in the show. Is that in the show? Yeah, you gotta have the hand All right. job. So uh, now you don't need to see it. No, no, uh, I wanna see it. No, uh, no, yeah, th I did a guest spot on the show that my company produces called Hot in Cleveland with Betty White. Oh, I love Betty, yeah. Who just no, got she... nominated for a SAG award today. She did? Yes. Is that kind? Yes, that is. <laughs> <laughs> the Screen Actors Guild. Oh! Yeah, yeah, very good, yeah, very good. Yeah, yeah. Yes, oh, because she Betty. needs to get out more. Yeah, no, we haven't seen enough of Betty. She's all over the place. She's amazing. She? Yeah, it's amazing. No. Nine years old, I can't even get out of bed. And she's she's like, actually 112. Life wow. about her age. Yeah. <laughs> She does, she's amazing. always helping she's always helping animals. And I mean always helping them, like even really? when they don't want her help. <laughs> really? Yeah. What's that? She, like, she will like, help the dogs across the road and they're like, rrr, rrr. Like, she's like, no. We got it, old yeah, lady. No, and she's like, yeah. oh, come on. There's, and off, yeah, no she award talks, for that, probably. No, she, she probably she gets awards for that too. I'm wow. constantly having to go at these award ceremonies where they <laughs> award Betty for, you know, and saving the, gorillas. And, and they're like, like that. The, <laughs> the, the dogs are reading with their paws and yeah. the winner. Uh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, these ceremonies go on so wrong. <laughs> All right, this is so boring, I'm sure. Um, is it? <laughs> hey, that's my thing. No, not no. you. I meant I'm boring. No, you're okay, not Okay, so boring. listen, I'm a huge fan of sci-fi. You know, growing up, I was a big Doctor Who fan as Ooh, well. Oh, I love Doctor Who. Look, yes. I love Doctor Who right here. Yeah. So who's your favorite Doctor Who? Tom Baker, of course. Tom Baker yes. with the long scarf and the curly hair. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, he, uh, that was, I was in the 70s. It was in the 70s. It was, that, yeah. I remember uh, Tom Baker as Doctor Who. I, I liked uh, his predecessor, John Pertwee. Didn't, I don't understand a word you're saying. Right. Uh, <laughs> um, but, uh, but, Tom, uh, it was cool because I, I saw Sid and Nancy, which is one of my favorite movies. Oh, yeah, yeah. Did you ever see that movie? Mm-hmm. And uh, in it, there's a scene where uh, they... <laughs> big fan of the movie. Mm -hmm. uh, and they, uh, they go, exterminate, exterminate. And I felt oh. like I was the only one who got that. Well, that, you probably saw that it in, in an American movie theater. Yes. Yeah, well, if you'd have seen it in a British movie theater, everyone would be like, oh! Right, right, right. Oh, I love it when they do that. Yeah. Yes. Oh, uh, but as it stands, at 10 years old, I didn't fly back and forth. So I no, no. In Where did you grow up? I grew up in Chicago. Oh, it's windy there. It's <laughs> very knowledgeable about yes, Chicago. Yes, I know all about it. Have you ever met Oprah? 
<laughs> she actually drove me today. <laughs> really? You met Oprah? She drove she you? She drove here? me. She's sitting waiting in the well, car. Well, you know, that's because... And Stedman is in the car behind her, which is weird. You can't kid me. Stedman doesn't exist. <laughs> Stedman's just a, a figment right. of her imagination. Him and Gail never yeah. in the same room. <laughs> uh, what? Really? Yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> Should we put that out there? Yeah, yeah, why not? You have hand sanitizer. Now, I heard you were feeling a little under the weather. Uh, a little true? bit. Yeah, I'm all right, though. Yeah. All right, I'm I don't really about... care. I'm just asking. No, no, no. Are you worried about uh, catching anything? I'm not. Yeah. Are you uh, one of them Howie Mandel germaphobes? No, are you a germaphobe? No. Like, punch it out. You know, I'm not yeah, like uh, that. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, I do. You know, when, when Howie's here now, I do this. Oh, oh, really? Yeah, Oh, yeah. that's just a, that's I'm trying a Hollywood... I'm to make this catch like, on, yeah. Yeah, that's the Hollywood condescending, nice to see you. Yes, oh, yeah. Yes, oh, you're wonderful. Oh, I really enjoy your work. No idea yes. who you are. Oh, yes, yeah. exactly. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, that kind of thing. <laughs> Don't you find a lot no, of people yeah. do that? Yeah, all the time. Yeah. I'm a big fan, big fan, big fan. Oh, I'm big like, really? fan. What do yeah. I do? Yeah. yeah. Well, you're a sports guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's right, I'm a sports guy. Yeah. Wait, okay, go ahead. No, I was going to say, we're kind of out of time already. I, I, I wondered if you wanted to uh, uh, go for a mouth organ or an awkward pause or the big cash prize. Uh, you pick. <laughs> I'll do the... I'll, no one's asked. <laughs> <laughs> That's I'm lovely. Thank you. No, I'll do the... Well, how can I not do the big cash prize? Oh, I thought I got to pick. <laughs> I don't, I don't get to pick, so you were saying you pick and then, but not yeah, really. Again, I, I don't really again, get to I'm pick. Again, I'm just being kind. So, so you, you, I don't get to pick. No, please pick. Big cash prize. Okay, great. All right. <laughs> what time is it, Shatter Steven? It's time for the big cash prize. Big cash prize. Two ways to win. Uh, I have no idea. Wait, that's all right. There's two, don't worry, I'll explain it okay. to you. It's perfectly fine. It's a 50 American dollars. You can go and make one of your television programs with that. And... <laughs> The, uh, Something like this. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, you could make five for 50 bucks. So, um, uh, two ways to win. You can either answer a simple question or you can guess what's in my box. Now, that's a little more tricky. I imagine a box. There's something inside it. Nobody knows what it is. Only Jeff. Okay. And if you guess correctly... Hey, how are you? Hey. What's up? That's his punch it out? Yeah, kind that? of. It's, it's yeah. his only movement. So he... he <laughs> That and the head movement, that's about it, really. God bless There's something him. wrong with your arm? <laughs> My arm? No, he was going like that. It was very awkward. <laughs> <laughs> guys look like idiots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. So you can either okay. guess what's in my uh, box or, or answer a question. Okay, I'll answer a question. All right, then. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> There's no way I'm going to get this right. Well, that's no kind of attitude to okay. go into this. All right. Come on now. All right, all right. Well, that's ridiculous. I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Who hurt you? <laughs> America. Oh, no. Ferrara. No. America Ferrara? I'm kidding. That's a great story. That'd be a great story. I was beaten up by America Ferrara. <laughs> really? I, oh, she's a bitch. I've, uh, actually, I've actually never met her. Oh, I, I did a movie with her. Didn't I? She's adorable. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> she beat me up. She hurt me. All right. Um, okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Well, this is going on quite a while for being out of time. Well, I usually... <laughs> what I usually do is I, I get to out of time about five minutes before sure. out of time. Sure. So that in order we can fit all of this crap in. <laughs> now we've gone on too long and we really are out of time. Okay. But then again, that's his problem. That's not my Crikey. problem. So, um, all right. All right. All right. Uh, Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Its uh, capital city is Reykjavik. All right. <laughs> this is a, a this is a multiple choice question. It has two possible answers: a true one or a false one. Okay. I'll still get it wrong. I don't know. Okay, that's good. A little-known fact that the Declaration of Independence was signed on August the second, seventeen seventy-six, not July fourth. True or false? Well, I mean, that's false. Close. <laughs> <laughs> well, hen hence little known fact. If it's true. <laughs> it's true! It is true! Shut it! I am in! I love that! Please welcome Sean Hayes, everybody! Sean!
the hell? I'm sorry. Uh, God. That in no way constitutes uh, the right to a lawsuit. <laughs> We're just going to put that right there. Yeah, you all right? Because I, I, my voice translates across America magically. <laughs> you all right? Yeah. You, 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 I was worried about you. You fell three times. Did it look real? It looked fantastic. You must have... Have you been to some kind of ninja stooge training school? No. But listen, thanks for straightening up tonight. You look amazing. Look at that. <laughs> Wait, did, you, did, it, did it go like this? Did you try, try to button all the way and just go, oh. I'm exhausted. What the hell, man? What the hell? I thought we were friends. That's what? Just button it, for no, God's sake. What about you? You button that one, then. Button. Sacre bleu. You button it, and then zip it. Button it, and then zip it. <laughs> All right. No, don't zip it. Then you'll cover right. up your microphone. That's Plus, right. We won't get to see. Then I'm going to sound like this. No, I'm, I, I'm enjoying the quasi plaid. <laughs> well, it's actually plaid. It's That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. It's full on plaid. Uh, well, I don't know. See, I'm Scottish. I have an eye for these things. <laughs> so far. <laughs> right. You have a skirt under, on, underneath your pants. Mm hmm. Yeah. Um, is this going well so far? I think it's doing very well. Okay. I think we're doing well. Let's just take a break and see how we're going. You came in, the, the fall was good. Okay. <laughs> Okay. And then the, uh, you know, you went, oh, and I was like, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's going very Should we well. do it all again? No. No. Okay. <laughs> okay. The film looks very good, though. You had a lobster in your pants. I did. Just another Friday. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it does. Look, and it's amazing your hair got like that. Yes, we beat, today we beat the Hunger Games for fr just Friday. Right. No, well, it's not, you know, it's not, the weekend's not over, so we don't know how we're going to do on Monday morning, but so far, so good. Well, I don't know, a lot of Stooge people like to go and see movies at the weekend. I, are you a fan of the Stooges? Yeah, a huge fan. Yeah. Uh, a huge fan. Growing up, I would come home and watch Woody Woodpecker, The Little Rascals, you know, The Three Stooges, all of them. But, uh, but the good thing about The Three Stooges, it's directed by the Fairley Brothers. Oh, so yes. the Fairley Brothers, you know, are known for Dumb and Dumber, There's Something About Mary, all these R-rated comedies. Mm. But The Three Stooges is a PG movie for the whole family. So when the love very first down your pants, nothing on toward happens the yes. lobster and then the, on the DVD extras you actually see my penis being eaten by a, a live lobster and wake when would I get one of those uh, DVD extras because uh, there's a guy do you, enjoy, do you enjoy lobster I mean to eat you know uh, <laughs> Do you, do you like do you, do you do you eat the shellfish? That's not code. I mean, no, it. Right, I, right. Uh... <laughs> well, I think you know me well enough to know I love lobster. <laughs> yeah, I do too. The only thing is that I don't I don't eat lobster anymore because you know they mate for life. Yeah, I don't care. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so... Wait, you're going to go after my tie again? You keep looking at what, what are you doing? You're looking I, at my tie, you're like, do you hate it? No, I love your tie. I just thought it could have, you know, a little effort to get, you know, the... the I, I got a mat. I've got my suit on and everything. No, it's very nice, very nice. This woman came into my dressing room before we started and said, asked me if I wanted anything steamed, and I said, you might want to take a look at your boss. <laughs> It's just a I little. Look, I look a little rump. You know, I put on a little weight. Maybe the suit's uh, not sitting right. That's I mean, all right. No, no, I put on. I, I know I you, don't, to, you look fantastic. No, I put on a little weight. I'm, I'm terrible. I'm. Oh gosh. I well, now you sound like an actress. <laughs> then my work here is done. <laughs> <laughs> no, you look fantastic. Oh, no, thank you. So do you. I know. <laughs> Did you shave your head to get that thing? I did. I had to shave it, um, shave my head every day, twice a day, once at 5 a.m. and then after lunch, totally bald, for three months. We shot in Atlanta, so Crikey. hot there. But um, <laughs> because if I did that, <laughs> it means. Oh, I see. Uh, so if I had, uh, uh, if I did a bald cap, mm. it would start to bubble. Wrinkle, and, yeah, 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 you wouldn't yeah. see it and it would look bad. But the thing is, uh, the. the tempted. Oh, sorry, yes. No. Go ahead, it's your show. <laughs> Was it, were, you, were you tempted to shave other parts of your body while you were... <laughs> You're obsessed with my penis and balls. I never even mentioned that part. Lobster. I meant lobster. Oh. <laughs> I, did, I didn't mean this stuff that you mentioned. Okay, great. So... I don't even know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> We're having a good time. That's the main thing, I think. I know. So, if you can't enjoy you, your work, you know. If you listen closely, you can hear the click of remotes <laughs> just changing the channel. Um, <laughs> wait, what was I saying? Oh, after the first yeah. day of shooting, mm. uh, we shot... <laughs> 
so bored already. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's great. What was it like working with George Clooney? I don't know. Whatever. Who's in it? <laughs> Next card. Yeah. Next card. Um, no, after the first day, the editor called. The second day, he called and said, Sean's got to shave his head again after lunch because I can see the five o'clock stubble on the top of his head. Wow. Yeah, thank so God for that. Very, you're very hairy. You're very hirsute. You're a hairy... <laughs> You're very, you, you know, you get a lot of hormones there, yeah. No. <laughs> no, just on the top of my head, a lot of hormones. But you don't, you're not particularly hairy. No. I'm not talking about that I'm area. I'm like... Do you have a hairy back, for example? I'm like alabaster from the back of my neck to my toes. Really? I thought that because with the first time I ever saw you working as an actor, I thought, I bet he's like a dolphin with his clothes off. <laughs> well, let's see how the interview goes. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's, it's actually, it's commercial break time. Oh, all right. I'd be doing it at home. Yeah. It was what if we just kept talking? <laughs> uh, no, but are we back from commercial? Are we yeah, yes, we're back. We're back? What, you need more sponsors, because that was like 20 seconds. <laughs> no, That's it was amazing. a regular length. Oh, it was a regular length. Yeah, where it's tea, we went time goes tea bay faster. And tea. And tea. And tea. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Oh my God! Are we, almost, are we almost done? Yeah. We are actually. Time's up. No. So what do you want? Do you I, what? No. What? No. What? No. Uh, you should know. <laughs> <laughs> do you have like? I've been looking all, all around for like a cup, but not just a regular cup. It has to be like in the shape of a snake, and it has to be. Oh, you got it. <laughs> you have it. Or just a feather. Do you have like a long feather anywhere? Because I have a, I'm collecting feathers and I just don't know. Uh. It's right oh, over there. Oh, yeah, yeah, here's one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do, I'm collecting feathers? <laughs> the hell? This is my pen. This is where I use angry letters to, you know, Dear Farley Brothers, why are there no more penis jokes in your <laughs> Stooges movie? Dear wife. Is that what you write? And sleep. <laughs> All right, uh, mouth organ, awkward pause, or uh, go for the big cash prize. Awkward pause. Oh, awkward pause. I like it when you go for the awkward pause. I've never had before. Mm, I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what do we do now? Is, oh, is that starting? Oh, I know what we should do. <laughs> What's that? What we should do is have awkward pause with Jeff reading our thoughts. Okay. Right. Okay. okay. Ready? Yeah, ready. Awkward pause. Okay. Oh, boy. I wish it was commercial break time already. <laughs> I sound a bit like Liam Neeson in my head. Well, this has certainly been the most recent appearance I've ever made on this show. I wonder if he's thinking about my tie. Ooh, maybe if I just loosen it up a little bit. I swear to God, if he doesn't button it. Is he... Is he touching his... Is he touching his nipple? Hi, I'm Liam Neeson, touching my nipple. We'll be right back, everybody. Show it. The great Sean Yeats, everybody, Sean
retired after that. How was that? Are you all right? What's going oh, on? I'm so thirsty. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing? Well, they said... <laughs> they asked... come out here with multiple cups. Um, <laughs> I'm a one-cup man. Well, it looks like it. Yeah, no. How are you? You look great. A little damp here. Uh, I know. Uh... No, it's okay. Well, speaking of uh, an injured hand... Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's nice. I feel lucky at the same time. Yeah. So uh, I noticed what happened there. Well, the, do you stuff. notice that? Yes, on the monitor. Backstage. Oh, really? You can see it. Yeah. We, we watch back there with those uh, oh. kind of those microphones, those uh, uh, whatever. Were you with uh, Were you with Jerry from room service back there? <laughs> no. I, I boxing. I hurt myself boxing. Ah, uh, nobody cares. What you asked me? No, I know. I thought you... it was like a better story than that. Oh, Boxing. Uh, no, I was attacked by a biting snake. Ah, very good. No, no, on the way to because it was raining in LA, all the snakes come out of the gutters. <laughs> they don't. They don't. No, they don't. There's, are there snakes in Los Angeles? Mm, yes, yes, there are. I said yes. Yes, there are snakes. There are rattlesnakes. If you go up to Griffith Park, you'll you'll meet lots of interesting creatures and snakes. <laughs> Yay! You got a day. Oh, what, what else? What's going on? Nothing, really. What's going on with you? You got a new <laughs> Wait, show. you're going to be... He's going to be on Sean Saves the World. I'm going to be on his show, yeah. yeah. Now, I'm not quite familiar with the, uh, the show itself. The Sean Saves the World. Uh, so you're Sean, and there's a meteorite coming towards Earth. That's and right. Is that what's happening? That's exactly right. And really? we've only shot one episode because we all die at the end. No. Uh, Spoiler alert. <laughs> No, uh, it's, it's an ironic title, much like the Late, uh, the late, late Show with Craig Ferguson. <laughs> um, it's an ironic title. <laughs> there's really, I, my world consists of uh, home being a new a full-time dad to my daughter and right. having a new boss played by the great uh, Tom, Tom Lennon. Lennon. Yes, yes. yeah, you've got to be careful with him, though. Because? Any excuse, a pair of shorts. Shorty shorts. Wait. Shorty shorts and oiled legs. Wait, any, any excuse to what? To wear them. To wear shorts. Yeah, I sure. see. Oh, sometimes, or, or, sometimes the accent gets lost in the camera waves. <laughs> Are you playing a straight man in this show? Because <laughs> this is going to work against No, him. right. Yeah. No. <clears throat> he's gay, gay, gay. All right, so he's... Uh, no, um... Well, that's good, and I, I'm going yeah. to play the part of your... Uh, Ex-boss, ex who I actually slept with. Spoiler alert, man. Now they know. Well, you'll, you'll still tune in because it's you. Right? Or, or because it's you. <laughs> well, that's why you're on this show and I'm on your show. It's, what, it's the circle of life. Hakuna Matata, man. <laughs> circle of life. Oh, that's nice. Did you ever do Broadway? You did Broadway, didn't you? Big fan? Yes. Yes, I did. But, but have you ever... But have you ever... <laughs> yeah, I, Who I... will buy my sausages? Have you ever done that? <laughs> He needs me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that. He needs me. Alpha. <laughs> you know that song, anyway. I don't know that song. No, it's from Oliver. Big. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. So anyway. uh, the one I know is. Oh, yeah, yeah, Well, I yeah. just think you know Scottish or British. You all know all those musicals. We don't all know each other, man. <laughs> Okay, so I, uh, I, uh, yes, I had, I was on Broadway for a year with Kristen Chenoweth, who's here actually. She's oh, under yeah, the chair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is she there? No. She's in my pocket. She's yeah. right there. she is. Yeah. <laughs> no, it looks just like her. No, come on. No, it doesn't. She's she, lovely. What did you do? She's with the Kristen? best. She's hilarious and gorgeous and all yeah. those things. But we did Promises, Promises. It was three years ago on Broadway for a year. Oh, yes. And I actually had stage fright, so, uh, which I'd either? never experienced before until this show. <laughs> No, um, I had stage fright, and, you know, I'd never sung in public, like, in front of 2,000 people every night, so it was very, it, it, was, it was high anxiety, and uh, when the spotlight's just on you, and you're standing there, so the, the opening number is called Half As Big As Life, and the last note is Half As Big As Life, you know, hold it for, like, 12 bars, right? Right. And so... I had stage fright, so my throat closed up every night, and so I'd go, half as big as love. <laughs> While the orchestra's still playing, and just a single tear, because I... <laughs> and then I would just go... <laughs> from life. 
And then I would go off stage thinking, how can I get out of this job? But I could, did it happen I, every night? It happened. It was the worst. The whole every run? Night, no, for, it was a year. It happened for about a month. Right. And then something clicked. I don't know what it was, and I could sing great after that for like eight or nine months. Right. Okay. Did the critics notice at all? Did anyone say? <laughs> no. You know, they only come one night. You know, on opening right. night, and say, I, I got through it. I don't know how. So you managed to do open a night, and then you didn't. So did anyone ask for well, a portion of their money back? I, I, I would assume. I would assume that was. was I came for that. That. Oh. That was about I was here for. And I didn't get it. Yeah. Right. No, but then the last week it came back. The last week I was there, the stage fright came back. So I did a shot of whiskey. I took a Klonopin and like a Xanax. It was crazy. It was crazy, which I do not recommend. No, no, CBS. No, no, no. Absolutely. No, but just to, to calm my nerves, right? Anything. I was or like. Or deaden your soul. <laughs> Really? Right. Yeah, right. yeah. Maybe a glass of wine would, you know, calm your nerves. A right. Klonopin, a whiskey, and a Xanax. Right. Ah. And how about this? I was still... So there's this other song called, She Likes Basketball, How About That? Right? Mm. And so it's supposed to be like high energy, right? She likes basketball, like like that, on all the... I can't Right. Oh, stuff. Sorry. Uh, uh, on all this stuff. It's a Scottish word! Right, right. You're a racist, man. <laughs> And all this stuff, and, and the audience was there, and I was so out of my mind. I go, she likes basketball, that? it's an omen. And I kept saying like this the whole time. It was awful. I actually was quite drawn in when you did that performance. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a different way to go, that kind of, he's, he's nice guys. It's like you're thinking about killing her. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Right. It's a different way to go. But you lived in New York. Do you live in New York now or do you I, live here? No, I lived there for a year then and on 42nd and Broadway. Uh, the you arm, lived on 42nd The and armpit what? of Manhattan. Uh, but yeah, I, <laughs> the smell of urine and pretzels I'll really miss. But um, It is quite a savory treat, isn't yes. it? When you... <laughs> it's they're hard to find. Not really. No, right, I know. Um, but uh, yeah, and, uh, and, but I don't, I don't live there. I live in... Uh... Edelweiss. You mean L.A.? Los Angeles. Yeah, oh. Los Angeles. Not the specific region which we'll bleep out for your and own my, safety. And my address. <laughs> what the hell's wrong with you, man? Do you want to give us your PIN number while you're here? Are you insane? <laughs> Any passwords you want to share with America? Well, there's probably 10,000 houses there. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. This is the one. Back oh, already? yeah, we're back. Uh, uh, wow. Sean was just giving me his exact address. <laughs> Darren, you missed it. <laughs> so, uh, have you ever been to Australia? Uh, first of all, I'm not good with loud sounds, so please don't. Okay. Uh, have I, no, I've never been to Australia. I just thought I'd ask. Okay. Have you ever been to Japan? I have not, but I'm going next year. All right. For private reasons. Oh. Well, what are they? Where are you staying? What's the address of where you're staying? <laughs> I'm staying at that hotel in Tokyo. Oh, right. Yeah. I'll meet you there. <laughs> I want to go in one of those hotels where you just go in, in like a little cube. What's that called? Did you go there? That's not a cube. It's not a hotel. <laughs> that's, that's why I want to go. That's a mental institute. A mental institute? <laughs> yes. No. I'll meet you there. No. You go in those little, this is like a little booth and you go in and then you lie down and they give you a little sandwich and you go to sleep. Don't, no. That's shock treatment. That's, that is shock no, treatment. No, it's not shock treatment. It's a, that's a thing. Where you go into a room, what are you talking about? You go in a room and you lie down and they give you finger sandwiches? <laughs> I said sandwiches. You said sandwiches. I said You're a racist, man. <laughs> so you went to Tokyo? What? No. <laughs> you just said, I've ever been, like, you said it like, oh, I've been to Japan. Well, you asked me if I've been to Australia. Well, I have been to Australia. <laughs> okay. Have you been to Century City? <laughs> Not for a while. Okay, we should go. Well, I don't know if we should. Okay. It's so far and it's so late at <laughs> night. <laughs> Where else? Where, <laughs> Where oh, right. I yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is... It's like Disney magic here. But wait, now tell me, where, uh, where haven't you been that you would like to go? Berlin. Okay, you, you, I feel like you're shouting at me. <laughs> Why? I 
leaned, I leaned back and swallowed some of my air. I went, Berlin. Like, <laughs> uh, Berlin I've been to Berlin. Ah, did you record? What? Did you know that? I didn't know that, said my segment producer. <laughs> uh, Hang on, I'll, I'll see. You're having it. Oh, you tore it up. You tore it up right there. It says, Berlin. <laughs> Have you been to Berlin? I have been. Uh, uh, I did this huge, I'm such a loser. This is too long of a story. We don't have time. Oh, give it a shot. Okay. <laughs> I'm upset. I'm sorry. <laughs> we're not. Oh, come on. I, I'm, I've been a jerk. Come we're going to cut it out. No, we're, gonna we're not going to cut it out. Okay. <laughs> Are we? Are we going to have to cut it out? It's really, okay. I'm a huge fan of the movie Amadeus. When, and, and so me and I my. I that movie. Okay. So. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. Uh, what, what are you typing? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Mozart out the typist. Yes, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, and he, uh, uh, and I was obsessed with the, with the movie, so I did this kind of Mozart tour of where they shot all those locations for the movie. Oh. And in the movie, F. Murray Abraham went to the premiere of John Giovanni by Mozart. Is, is people, are people still watching? And, uh, and then, so we ended the trip at Prague, in Prague, where, and we sat in the same box where F. Murray Abraham sat, and we saw Don Giovanni in the theater. Wow. Wow. Oh, it's our premier Don Giovanni. Well, why, are you, why are you talking down that story? That's a great story. It's got it's got everything, including F. Murray Abraham. <laughs> Who is very good in Homeland. Have you seen him in Homeland? No. Yeah, he's I good. I haven't seen that. Now, uh, you know, I I wait till, like, I just started watching Breaking Bad. Last person in the sun. No, no, I haven't seen the last eight episodes either. I've, no, I'm, I'm like walking around going, la, 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 la. But Game of Thrones, I haven't seen it, but it seems like I'd be into it, but I just can't get past the gate opening in the pilot. I haven't seen that much, actually. I, I, I keep thinking I'm going to watch it, and then... But I, I will watch it, because I will, too. I will. Let's watch it together in Century City. Or not. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, we're out of time. You told that interminable story about Berlin, and now we're... <laughs> but I didn't even mention Berlin. Berlin, was, to me, is, was beautiful. It was cool to see, like, parts of the wall still up, you know. David Hasselhoff? He was there holding oh, the wall up. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh... No, he tore it down. Oh, he tore it down. That, that's right. He was I think like, his voice tore it down. Yeah, that's like... Oh! I think that was probably better than all his albums. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, we're yeah, all yeah, David yeah. Hasselhoff fans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are we all, we're all fans of his yeah, music. Yeah, yeah, you've got all his albums, you lying jerks. Yeah. <laughs> John Hayes, everybody. We're right back. John Hayes, everybody, sorry. You know, you'd think you'd clean up for me, but whatever. Well, like, I thought you liked it informal. There was like 75 bits just in that opening. Yeah. <laughs> we used all our things, know, all no. the tricks. I'm That's exhausted. It. Yes, I know, me too. You Let's... should do that every show. That's no, such a good no. bit. People would get bored of it. You just, uh, you just whipped out your snake. I did. This, <laughs> this snake is here every night. It's a Freudian thing, but it's with my penis. It's a long story. No, it's... <laughs> It's that, I noticed backstage your tie is a little long. A little long. And it almost went all the way to your socks. You're really matching beautiful, subtle socks. I'll tell you, let me tell you about these socks. I like, I like these so mu much. I actually wore them last night. I'm wearing them again tonight because I like them <laughs> so much. <laughs> and the audience is as gorgeous as last night. Ah, no. no. I think you've been very generous. No, you've been very enough. generous. I haven't seen you since I played your lover. I know. Oh, that was good times. And we also worked on TV together. Ooh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, did we start rolling yet? 
Is this? Yeah, I don't. I think so. Yeah, yeah. No, we're yeah. not. I yes, don't know about rolling. We're live. You play. <laughs> <laughs> you play. You. He, uh, Craig did an amazing job on my old show, Sean Saves the World. Really hoping for a second season. Kidding. It'll it happen. It, it got happen. canceled. It got canceled. Oh. Geez. So, uh, but but it's uh, you know when God closes the door, he opens a window. So now, <laughs> did I just get a little 700 club? I got a little 700 club. Yeah, a little club. bit. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> No, <laughs> but it freed me up. Move along, son. <laughs> Move along. This is CBS. Yeah. We have all sorts of people watching, not just your friends. <laughs> um, no, this is this show is fantastic, and you're you're right in that sweet spot of right before people fall asleep and get up. Right, exactly. So in uh, the twilight world yes. of not watching. <laughs> No, but it freed me up to now do The Millers on CBS, which premieres Monday at Oh, 8 that's the great. Yeah. Well, no, no, hang on, hang on, hang on. You applauded there because he showbizzed you. You haven't seen it. You don't know if you like it. It doesn't premiere until Monday, but you're like, oh, we're so excited already. But you don't know. It could be yeah, rubbish. But wait a minute, yeah. wait a minute. You also clapped for him and we don't know. <laughs> oh, oh, wait, wait, no, wait. I think we do. Oh, we do. Okay. <laughs> They've seen you before. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not, I don't always wear this tie. Sometimes it's much shorter. And, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's a fun game. So, um, <laughs> now, tell me, when, you, when you're done, when you're done... <laughs> it's very nice to see you. It's really yes. nice to see you, too. Now, when you're done here, and I know you're sick of talking about this, mm -hmm. where are you going to go, and do you need a ride? I... I <laughs> I, I, I've decided exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to walk the earth with my horse and my robot, and we're going to solve crimes. <laughs> we're gonna, it's going to be like, yes. It's going to be like Murder, She Wrote. Yes. We're gonna that, go that's going to be on after the Millers. Right, it'll be yeah. the Millers, and then it'll be then Murder, They Wrote, wrote Together. Wrote together. <laughs> and we'll come into your town, and we'll be like, oh, we just want to relax and enjoy ourselves in this diner. And then someone will go, oh, there's been a murder. Oh, my God. And then we'll be like, oh, we've got to solve it. What a beautiful... <laughs> That's a beautiful arc with a nice twist in the middle. It's a twist because it's a man, uh, a foreigner with nothing left to lose, a gay robot skeleton with great hair, uh -huh. and, not, and not a real horse. Okay. <laughs> Do you, by any chance, you know, I have been looking all over for a horn, like a car horn. Do you, by any chance, have like a, I mean, a bike horn is what I meant? Well, like, I've got, like, I, I've got it. Do you like a rusty trombone? <laughs> I got one of those. Although it's myth, it's missing the. Uh, well, you don't want to blow it because it's myth, it's missing. That's the thing. pointless. Uh, what it's about uh, top? Well, is this the kind yes. of thing you're asking? This is great. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Oh, my god. What about puppet Drew Carey? What about? Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> now I gotta say this thing here. This was uh, made before Drew lost oh, all the God, weight. You're losing people. Come on, pick it up. All right. Uh, <laughs> you, don't, you don't like the puppet Drew Carey? People I, love this. It's incredible. Look, people love it. Moon over Parma, bring your love to me tonight. <laughs> well, he's awfully quiet. Yeah, you are quiet tonight. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I see what you did. Yeah, you see what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah, very funny. It's yeah, I can see you, Jeff. I can do it without moving my mouth. All right. <laughs> Where's that coming from, huh? <laughs> did you come over here and find out? <laughs> no, it's good to see you. I love you. Yeah, I, you. I love you. You're looking peaky, but you look good. Thanks, man. I appreciate yeah. that. I appreciate that. I'll, I'll talk to you later. We'll, we'll talk. I didn't know you guys. I didn't know guys. You guys knew each other. You knew each yeah, other. We yeah, we out. worked together on that that show. But yeah, years sometimes ago. we go to In-N-Out Burger on the weekends. Yeah, sure we do. <laughs> Get a little. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh god. I'm sorry. All right, we have to take a break. We'll be right back with Sean. <laughs> and No, you see, that's the... Oh, hi! <laughs> oh, we're just... Oh, uh, we're non-threatening TV people. <laughs> Tell me your name again. 
Mike. Oh. <laughs> Mike, I've been calling you. Car what is it? Kurt? Carl? Carl. Carl. I'm calling you Carl, Carl Ferguson. Ferguson. You know what you should Carl do? Carl Ferguson. <laughs> Cardinal Ferguson. You know what you Pardon. should do? Yeah, let just, me. I'll just put that there in case. What is there? If I. Is this work, first of all? Well, I don't know. If well, it rings, you answer it. Okay, maybe like somebody could give me a shout or something. Okay, let's see what happens. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, oh. What are the odds? <laughs> do I. Do I. Do you know how to do it? Pick it up, put it near your mouth. Hello. Hello, Sean. This is Morgan Freeman. <laughs> Morgan, well, how are you? I haven't seen you since the bucket. List. Oh, yes. We had a great time on that motion picture. Yeah. We did. Well, some of us call it a movie, but yeah. Are you insulting Morgan Freeman while talking to him? No. I can have your ass erased. Oh, is that it? Oh, I, I don't know. I mean, it's no. up to you. Are, I mean, do we have anything else to discuss? Uh, I'll see you later at uh, In and Out. All right, I'll look. All right, man. Take care. I'll, I'll look. I'll look for you on through the wormhole. Bye bye. <laughs> Nobody watches through the wormhole. Yeah, it's a great show. Yeah, yeah. No, he's the thing about Morgan Freeman is he can talk. He doesn't even. He can talk to you through the wormhole without the phone. For example, I'm still here. <laughs> <laughs> now, let me tell you, I have, a, I have a funny story about Bucket List. This will never make it in this airing. But, um, well, it's live, so I don't know what you're yeah, talking about. My, <laughs> my, first, my, first, uh, my first scene in the Bucket List with Jack Nicholson and Morgan Freeman, I was in the front seat of a Bentley. They took the windshield out so the cameras could fit in. It was just us three the first day. And they're not really talking a lot because, you know, they're focusing on their lines or whatever. And I'm like, do you say something? Do I not say something? Do I speak to them? They're Mar Morgan Freeman and Jack Nicholson. Oh my God. So I'm like, I'm going to go for it. So I turned around and I go, hey, um, maybe uh, when you guys make it big one day, you can sit in the front. No, 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 you sing it, and I'll, oh, okay. and I'll do it. All right, sure. All right. This tweet mail time. Time for Craig to read some tweet mail. But it's so sad. Craig's still not allowed in Iran. <laughs> All right, thanks for that, Jeff. Uh...